Woman pushed her girlfriend off the cliff. <laughs> Looking at her girlfriend's body, the woman was still uneasy. When she arrived at the foot of the mountain, her girlfriend disappeared, leaving only a bloody necklace. At this moment, Jules, who was not dead, had dragged her injured body deep into the jungle. She couldn't believe that her girlfriend, with whom she had spent so much time, had killed her. She fought through the pain to put her dislocated arm back. But then came the bad news. Jackie's sound came from behind her. She rushed to the side ramp to keep Jackie from seeing her. But by now Jackie was apologizing to Jules, saying it was all an accident. Just as Jules peeked her head out, Jackie suddenly turned pale. Jules realizes that Jackie is trying to kill her. Jules was so scared that she was afraid to make a sound. She doesn't dare to breathe until Jackie leaves. At night, Jules thought she had escaped, but she didn't know that Jackie had come back again. At this point, she has completely revealed her true nature. She held up a flashlight and warned Jules loudly that she better show herself immediately. Jules, who was hiding, was shivering in fear that she would be discovered. At that moment, it suddenly started to rain heavily in the forest, and Jackie had to go back for a while. Soon it was noon the next day, Jules opened her eyes in a daze, but by now she had lost a lot of blood, and her consciousness began to blur. In order to stay awake, she crawled to a puddle of water to rehydrate herself. She then dragged her injured body to continue her escape. On the other hand, Jackie had already changed her equipment. She grabbed the tranquilizer gun and prepared to go out to hunt Jules. But what she didn't expect was that Jules took advantage of the gap to sneak back into their log cabin. She searched all the corners and luggage, but did not find a communication device. And even the computer could not connect to the internet. Unable to contact the outside world, she had to find a way to escape the place. She found some medical supplies, then she gave herself painkillers and stitched up her wounds. She finally put her broken finger back together, but the screams drew Jackie back. But Jules had already escaped, leaving only gauze on the floor. Jackie followed the trail to the lake and found Jules in her boat. Jackie aimed at her and fired several rounds of tranquilizer. But the distance is too far. The range of the tranquilizer gun is limited. It cannot hit Jules. But Jackie did not intend to let her go. She rode a small boat to Jules launch a chase. Since Jules was badly wounded, Jackie caught up with her in no time. She was excited to see her prey back in her hands again. Jules did not have time to resist. Jackie jumped into her boat and subdued her. Just then, a neighbor not far away saw the two. Jackie threatened Jules to keep quiet while Jackie turns her head. Jules loudly invites the neighbor couple to come over for the evening. The neighbor hears and agrees. But what he doesn't know is that Jules' invitation is about to bring about his downfall. A woman is pushed off a cliff by her girlfriend. But she doesn't die. She fled the scene before her girlfriend came down the mountain to destroy her body. But to Jules' surprise, she was found by Jackie when she rode to the other side of the river. As she was seriously injured, she was caught by Jackie again in a short time. Luckily, a neighbor found the two in time. In order not to be killed, she loudly invited him to come to her home. The neighbor immediately agrees. Jackie had to refrain from killing Jules for a while. In the evening when the neighbors came to the house, Jules quietly asked them for help, but this happens to be seen by Jackie at the door. When the two men find out, Jackie draws a dagger and rushes towards the man, slitting his throat and killing him. She then rushed back inside the house and turned the knife on the neighbor's wife. The woman ran upstairs in fear, but Jackie caught her. She fought and begged Jackie not to kill her, but Jackie stabbed the knife at her and she killed her. And Jules downstairs was completely stunned. And that's not all. Jackie disposes of the crime scene in front of Jules. She cut up the bodies of the neighboring couple. She then threw the bodies into the lake in the dark. Jackie wakes up early the next morning, and she makes Jules one last breakfast. By the time she finishes eating, she will be killed. But inadvertently, Jules found a metal box hidden behind the wall. She opens it and is full of identical necklaces. And they're exactly the same as the ones Jackie gave her. Jules then realizes that the owners of these necklaces have been killed. They have also become Jackie's trophies. Seeing that her secret had been discovered, Jackie told her the truth. Jackie and Jules had bought an accident insurance policy together. And the beneficiaries were each other. So in just a few years, Jackie had killed eight girlfriends by creating accidents to get the high insurance money. Jackie then drove Jules to the cliff to kill her. In the car, Jules was ready to fight back. She quietly pulls out the tranquilizer needle. She stole and sticks it right in Jackie's neck. She then rushes headlong into the jungle. In the car, the woman grabbed a tranquilizer needle in her hand and stabbed her girlfriend, then ran headlong into the woods. 
Soon Jules arrived deep in the jungle, but Jackie also in pursuit. Jules once again ran to the edge of the cliff. She looked back in desperation, and Jackie was already behind her. She held a dagger towards Jules, forcing her to the edge of the cliff, where she almost fell. Just then, the anesthetic finally took effect, and Jackie fell headfirst to the ground. Jules picks up the dagger and prepares to kill her, but Jules was too scared to do it. After a tussle, she chose to drive away from the place, but Jules was still very scared. She didn't get very far before she stopped the car and took out the dagger to go back and kill her again. She made her way to the cliff again, but Jackie was long gone. Jules returns to the cabin again because she knows that Jackie is diabetic and will definitely come back for insulin injections. After waking up, Jackie returned to the cabin. Jules put a gun to the back of her head when she wasn't looking, but Jules couldn't fight back even with the gun. She didn't hit Jackie with a shot before she could react. She was overpowered by Jackie again. This time, she wouldn't let Jules go. Jackie immediately dragged Jules to the edge of the cliff. And she kicked her off the cliff again. This time, Jules is really dead. After that, Jackie called the police and falsely claimed that her girlfriend had fallen to her death. Back home, Jackie gave herself a shot of insulin, but she suddenly felt sick. At that moment, she saw the computer, and there was a video of Jules inside. After watching the video, Jackie instantly panicked. Jules had already switched from insulin to hydrogen peroxide. This drug will cause blood clots to form in the blood vessels, which will then flow into the brain, eventually leading to death. Now, only Jules, who is a doctor, can make the antidote. Jackie rushes to the edge of the cliff, praying that Jules is not dead. Eventually, the drug kicks in, and she dies on the road after a convulsion. At the end of the film, a bear appears in front of Jackie. The police will probably end up blaming the bear for everything. We should always be vigilant and watch out for our safety everywhere.